Well, hello there, Shirley Rocks here. Welcome to Starcom Nexus version 1.05. It's now launched on Steam. Now, this game is previously in early access and it's just come out of early access onto Steam. This is by a developer called WX3 Labs, who I got in touch with to ask uh, if I could get a uh, review key for this, because I thought, I thought it'd be something that people on the channel would like to see, and I'd like to actually play as well. And I was right, it is fun. So, this is a game all about uh, space and uh, mysteries of space and travelling, but I'm not going to spoil too much, so we're going to go and do a new game. And I'm gonna, as you can see, I've got my, my player name already, Shirley Rocks, HMS Yard. Let's do a different vessel name. Let's call it, uh, yeah, let's call it, let's call it Voyager. Okay, we're doing normal difficulty. Let's start it up. Space. Def no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. So, we jump in. As you can see here, there's a, a friendly little ship here. Channel open. Finally got command of your own ship, eh, Shirley Rocks? I guess it's more of a shuttle. Myself started on a station to tuck. At least yours is technically a starship. Kite station isn't the most glamorous posting, but like I said, we all started somewhere. So, what's my first mission? So, we've got a delivery mission to do. We're delivering a water purification system, some minerals, and some archaeology. So, uh, let's have a little look. We'll get the cargo there right away. Better hurry, those artifacts have been waiting two million years. Okay, so, look how awesome his ship is, and look how tiny mine is. <laughs> so we're going toward Kite Station, which is all the way down here. So, goodbye, dear friend. We've got a long way to go. It's over a thousand meters away. And as you can see, if you zoom right in, look how, look how nice. Look at these little counter thrusts. Really cool. Okay, there's an asteroid field here. So I'm going to show you how I pew pew. I aim. I pew pew. If we're lucky, we get something. Look at that. We've got some titanium from that one. You can just avoid all the uh, asteroids. Like that. Nice shooting. Let's keep going. We're a thousand clicks. Now, if you look at the uh, energy down there, you can see I'm actually using energy uh, shooting. Oh, I think we got a little bit of damage then. Okay, so there's a solar flare ahead, apparently. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, I'm getting... That's a tractor beam. I'm getting pulled into something. Uh, hello? What is this? Okay. I've seen these in Star Trek. They're never, they're never a good thing. Okay, here we go. Oh, whoa. There's a station under attack. And I'm just, like, in the middle of it. Oh, whoa, snap. Okay. Uh. And the... Whoops. Oops. I think we're just... I think we just appeared. On, I think we just appeared on top of a. It was either a ship or a station and blown up. Um, that is not good. Right, let's go towards these things on the radar. I don't know what they are. Our computer is online. It's failing to resolve our position. So it looks like we've gone to a different solar system. Okay, so we've got a the kite station. Apparently, is over this way. So let's go towards it. What's all this in space? Are they? No. I think it's just stars. I thought it was something we could pick up. Right, let's go towards this. Here we go. Okay, channel open. Intruder, you're on Chittick controlled space. Identify yourself. I'm Shirley Rocks, a human representative of Starcom. We are an organization. We are on, we are an organization of peaceful exploration. One of our, oh, it was an outpost we blew up. Um, we were pulled into the. Let's say it, it's it's a coincidence. The distress message include a video feed, a ship of your exact configuration. Um, is it too late to change my answer to your first question? Unless your new answer is that you admit to being agents of the Sorid. Okay. A communications relay. It can be more than one thing. D d disable your weaponry. Um, no. Okay. So we've got we've got a fight. So I need to try and avoid getting shot. Right, come on. Come on. Let's go for it. Come on. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm a, I'm only in a terrible little ship. I'm going. I'm going. Go, 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 go. Oh. We're just a little bit faster than him, I think. Okay. We, 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 we did wing him. We did damage him. 
Right, I'm going to take cover by the station. Let's, what, let's see what happens when you mess with me. Okay. There you go. That's what you get for bullying me. Oh, and he's dropped something. What's he dropped? What did he drop? Ooh, chitic hull seems to be seem to be composite of titanium iron and an organic molecule. Oh, cool. So we got some research points for that. Research is something that will be really important in this game as well. Right, let's dock at the station. Okay, let's go and talk to Commander Price. You must be Shirley Rocks. When we detected a Starcom vessel, I was hoping it was Captain Lee. No offence, but the Byzantium is a warship. We had no ships docked at the station. Well, whatever happened. Okay, so Voyager is a small ship, but my crew and I are ready for anything. The boy, that may be a battle cruiser. We have some crates of ancient pottery. Or if I, yeah, let's do this one. That's the attitude I want to see. I hope for all our sake you're right. Speaking of the rift, what was it? I have no idea. A lot of our data banks were completely fried by the ev the event. I'm pretty sure we never had a record of a, a rift in space that pulls ships into another galaxy. Based on our initial encounters, we're in unfriendly territory. We're low on resources. We've lost a lot of technical data. Okay, what do you want me to do then? Get yourself to the shipyard. You're all fine to use any materials to make upgrades to your ship. Okay, now the shipyard is really interesting because you can design your own ships. Now, it's, it's basically saying up there, you can pause and read it if you want. It's saying I can redesign the ship however I want and you just drag stuff to the... Uh, the level let's see how do i actually draw i want to drag other modules onto this i think he wants me to do the tutorial for now so this is the range of all the ships look at some of these oh dreadnought dreadnought yeah so we're, we're going to be a light surveyor this has got two plasma turrets it's got a surveying module it's got the bridge it's got two big fat engines and it's got a reactor okay let's leave the station let me do some surveying Right, we're going to survey all three planets. Now, it looks like I actually took a bit of damage there. Look, I'm slowly getting me hull back now. Okay, so to scan the planet, you go near it, press X. And we're looking for anomalies. So there's no anom anomalies on that one, so we're good to go. Now, 280 away is another, sh another planet. I'm going to go down here first, though. I want to scan this. What's this thing? Is this another of those teleport things? What is this? Should I go near it? Can I go into it? <laughs> Imagine if I just blew up. That would just be like, why would you fly into the sun? Okay, let's examine this first planet. So we'll get near it again. Oh, it's little, the little northern lighty rainbow effect. Damn, that's so cool. Right, scan. Okay, we've got surface anomaly. So what we do is we press X, we launch a pod. That's going to go down to the ship, to the surface, sorry. And it's going to scan it. Okay. We found an overground, an overgrown abandoned research lab. So we've got two options here. We can either reboot the AI or we can uh, just get the data. Let's try and reboot him. Okay, we managed to reboot it. We've got 150 research points, 60 titanium, and 20 chirolite. Nice. Right. I need to get to this other planet now. So, there is one more planet left. Which is this one. So, I do like the... Uh, I love little touches in games like this. Just tapping left and right and your little, little thrusters go around. That's so nice. Right. Wait a minute. Oh, here's the planet. It's down here. 560 clicks out. Okay, let's see what maximum speed we've got. 16.6, 16.7. Not bad, not bad. Can't see anything else. I think we're all alone in space at the moment. So we've just got to get to this other planet and scan it. So I like the way this game, the way it... Well, it, it's not that it holds your hand, but it's unlocking stuff as you go along. So we started off in a small ship. Now we've got a little bigger ship. And now we're learning how to scan. And we'll shortly be learning how to research. So off my scanning probe goes again. What what bounty are we going to find? 
Okay, so we got uh, 40 titanium. We managed to find a transmitter emitting short regular bursts at 1420 megahertz. Okay, is that... Have we just like literally just stolen a probe off the planet? Okay, let's head back to the station. Quite... Wait a minute. Hostiles. We've got two hostiles. Let's us try and... Uh, Fight these. I have got two guns now, so I should be a better a better match for them. Okay, I'm trying to lead them into me. Nice. Oh. Go on. The other one's trying to escape. He's trying to make a run for it. We're pretty even speeds, though. I don't think we're going to catch him. Okay. I'll leave you... To fight another day. Yeah, we, we literally couldn't catch up with him. Okay, we need to get back to the um, the kite place now. I think it's straight up here. You see it on the map if we zoom out? It was near that planet, I think. There we go. 370 meters out. Well, not meters. Space miles, space kilometers, whatever it is. Now, it is a little bit slow at the start, but we are going to get some extra stuff in a bit to help us a little bit with uh, zooming around. Okay, let's just dock at the station. Talk to the commander again. So, I reviewed your logs from this, the uh, system survey. The abandoned lab is interesting for two reasons. One, it suggests there are other civilizations beside the Chittick. Maybe some of them are less hostile. And two, it seems like you found a treasure trove of research data. Um, which leads me to an update. I've got good news and bad news. The good news is our research lab is up and running again. And the bad news, a lot of our data seems to have been lost. Okay. So we need to make lots of scientific discoveries. So let's go into the research tab. So I am Lieutenant, Lieutenant Commander Pillman, head of the research lab. You may call me Dr. Pillman. The data you've uncovered during your errands will allow me to recover some of our lost technologies and possibly discover new ones. The Commodore decided you, a ship's commander with no science background, should choose the direction of our research because you are in the field. Okay, so once we've committed our points, they're locked in. So we have to think what we want. So he suggests them straight away I should go for turbo thrusters, which means I can get places faster. Or I could go for improved engines. So that makes my engines 25% faster, or turbo for us that lets us go faster with a burn. I mean, we have got 195 points. Look at that. Look at this down this tree, what we could go for. We've got accelerated repair. We've got battle ready systems, which improves the performance of damage modules. Uh, we've got different cl classes of, uh, of um, ships as well. We've got scout class. So much, so much. To, there's so much for me to to do. Abstract applications, concrete applications for some theoretical models, giving small bonuses to scanner range, repair rate, and energy reserves. Okay, or we could go for reactor boost. Increases the energy of the reactor, increases the reserve of our reactor, and then we've got guns. So. I've got high energy bolts. Increases the damage of each plasma bolt from four to six. We've got plasma venting, which increases the fire rate. Oh, there's lots. Do you know what I think I'm going to go for? I think I'm going to go for turbo thrust. Okay. And... Oh, the Commodore Press has got an update for me. And I think I'm going to go for something that's going to make me shoot better. So we've got 120. Now, do I go for high energy bolts... Which will lead me down that path, or this one, it leads me down things like laser cooling. So that's going to be really fast firing. And what's that? Increases the damage. So that's really. So it's faster firing or higher damage. Or there's an interesting path here. What's in the mystery path, I wonder? I'm going to go for this one. Let's go for higher damage. Yes. Okay. Let's go back to the speed to command. Okay, our long-range scanners have detected a warp nexus in a sector. It definitely wasn't there when we arrived. I don't know whether this is part of the ph phenomenon we encountered earlier or a result of activities in your system. 
Okay, so we'll go on and head, our, head out our ship to it. But that is for another video, my friends. So let me know what you think of it. If you do like the look of this Starcom Nexus and you would like to see what the what we've discovered out there with this new Rift thing, then uh, let me know. I really, uh, really like this game. I like the uh, the research, how it's sort of uh, leading you to choose the path, and it's there's also the scanning and the planets. It's all pretty cool. So anyway, let me know what you think of it if you like it in the comments below. Anyway, don't forget to drop me a sub. Uh, like like the video and all that other good stuff. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.